in the women's compound here at Nîmes for 2023. Andrea Munoz of Spain, the 20-year-old giant killer. Here she is, beating Ella Gibson, the world number one in the semi-finals. And Lasell Yatma from Estonia, the two-time champion here, is back in another final. experienced Archer now for being just 23 years of age. But how about Andrea Munoz, John? Big Gibson is a touchdown on Big Paige Pierce. Of course, uh, the number one seed and uh, yeah. one of the world's best as well in the previous round. What a what a end to the first day of action for her. She beat two of the top three in the world to get here. That She had the day of her life yesterday. Uh, I don't know if she realised quite what she was doing, but wow, she had some... Uh, some real wins, didn't she? Uh, what a day. And uh, she meeting the highly experienced Lizelle Jatmer in this final. It doesn't get any easier for her now. Lizelle knows how to win this event, as she's shown before. So, again, Munoz with another mountain to climb. Absolutely. She beat Paige Pierce in a shoot-off in that quarter-final, closest to the centre with both archers getting 10s. And beat Gibson 149 to 147. So only dropped the one point in the match. She also got a perfect score back in her 1-8 elimination show. She was in fantastic form yesterday as we get this gold medal match underway now with Munoz to go first. She's 20 years of age. Current world ranking at the moment of 24. Yatma has a world ranking of 8. Has been as high as 5. Neither of these two archers flinching at the moment. Nine. I spoke too soon. So Yatman now for a one point lead. Yes, indeed. She might have just missed that, John. I agree. Interestingly, most of them do seem to, to miss to the left. I have noticed, particularly on that, that third face. Well, that last arrow being forensically examined now. Has it minutely touched the line? If it has, then Yatma will take a one-point lead and who knows that point may be hugely valuable so at the moment it looks like a tied score line over there really enjoying herself so we are locked up at 29 apiece it's all confirmed now in this gold medal match in the compound here at Neem 2023 
Oh, yum, I won't be happy. That's back-to-back -back nines now for her. She needed that. Yeah, squeeze the match up again. <laughs> so we have a tight match. Nothing in it between these two. Pretty much going arrow for arrow at the moment. Yatma and Munoz. Well, similar pattern to the previous match too, John. Feels like this one's going to be very, very tight. Feels a lot more tense than the previous match there. A bit slower shooters and Nazelle has many medals as we know. But like Munazi is massively kind of above her normal level in this event and that like adds a little more pressure. Like Belazel will expect to beat her as well, and that makes it even harder. Yeah, Munoz is a former winner on the European Youth Cup circuit. So, doesn't have the. Mind you, she is younger, she's three years younger, so just coming more into the international senior ranks now. A big opportunity for her. Opens the door for Yapma. what both archers have done so well so far it's bounced back from their nines banging in ten straight mm. after mm. oh, that one could be critical this could really give Lazelle a little bit of space and really be important. There we go. Yeah, she has a big end, wasn't it? Yeah. Two-point swing there in favour of the Estonian. And a great time, too, to get the perfect 30. Yeah. Munoz made a mistake and Lazelle punished her both times. And that, it raises your confidence. And when you've got that two-point lead, you feel that you do have a slight buffer or a small error. But, you know, when it's one point, you're never really comfortable in the lead. You're just maintaining it. Yapma has won three times on the World Indoor Series before, twice a year before. Pretty amazing for her to go and win a third title here too, John, given the yep. standard and quality of the opponents, particularly in this year's event, right? Absolutely, yeah. But Lazelle is number eight in the world for a reason. She's been in many medal sessions this last 12 months. So, you know, just because she's ranked a few spaces lower, don't count her down. Highly experienced athlete. And hungry and motivated, as you could see, by that exchange with her coach there. So 
Fourth end of five. It's Yapma up by two points, 88 to 86. Andrea Munoz to go first. She dearly love a lot of tens now. She missed again. That's an interesting too, John. Now it's just one ten in her last four. Yeah, I wonder if the occasion's starting to get to her, but will Rizal keep her in her for the mistakes as well? Yep, they look at that. Every mistake is getting punished. Yeah, rock solid from Yup, and that's his sixth ten in a row now. Better. Munoz comes back with a, a fine arrow, but Yatma for a three-point lead. Oh, just low. Maybe not. So it's going to stay two. Still going to, still a healthy two-point margin. But Yatma will be guess, slightly disappointed that she didn't nail that last ten. Yeah, I think she was just thought that, about that one going into the last three with a three-point lead is beyond comfortable but you know at the worst she's going to still be two points up with three to shoot Munoz has to shoot three tens to have any chance but i just felt on that first hour of this end that the occasion was slightly getting to her a bit yeah that third end where she scored just 28 you know i've been a critical one particularly yatma here getting 30 in that end so Yatma now knows she's just three good arrows away from her third title in Nîmes. Munoz can't let the scoreboard get to her. Got to feel nice and secure and comfortable on the shooting line. Yes, nothing less than the maximum score of 30 in this end. The final end of this match for Munoz is required. What she needed. And that's what she needed. Yeah, Yadma's looking rock solid. Nine. She's just averaging one stray arrow uh, an end at the moment, Munoz, and that's yeah. proving the difference between the two. There we go. She knows. Looks like it's just missed for a score of 143. So here's Yatma trying to win in style. And she has. That's the way to do it. Brilliant performance from Lissau Yatma. She's a three time champion here in Nîmes. And it means a lot to her. 10 of her last 11 arrows were maximums. Really consistent scoring from Lucelle Yatma, and look at that. She is getting emotional. Yeah. It means so much that to her. Mean. She's going to be the champion once again here. That will mean so much to Lizelle to win this. You know, as I said, last year she got a lot of last fours and wasn't getting the 
the win in the matches, so the win this for her. Her third win, I think she's officially the Queen of Neem now, when you've won it three times. Munoz really found herself out of a depth in this final. She did insane yesterday, beating Pierce and Gibson, but you saw from the bronze match, Gibson and Tanya Galantine and Lizelle scores, you can see the depth and difference between Munoz and the other three.